Hi YouTube, how are you all? Today is, it is Wednesday the 3rd of January 2018. My name's Jan Silver, hello and welcome to my channel. I've been video logging my journey to and beyond a gastric bypass which I had on March the 15th 2017. I'll give you a quick spiel um, of my stats. I'm super happy today and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, I started my journey. I am 45 years old. I'm five foot five and a half uh, inches. Five foot five and a half inches. Yeah, I'm five foot five and a half tall height. And um, my start weight back in December of 2015 was 18 stone 12. I now weigh 12 stone nine. Um, I've lost six stone 2.9 pounds. So that in itself, I've talked a little bit over Christmas how I didn't um, get hooked up on the scales. It's so easy to get obsessive about getting on the scales and and needing and wanting to lose weight. Obviously, that's why we've had bariatric surgery, right? Um, I gave myself a bit of a break over Christmas and I've said from day one that this surgery for me wasn't about being on a diet for the rest of my life. It was about limiting the amount that I ate. For me, I don't have a sugar addiction. Um, I don't have a, a food addiction per se, but what I did do, the reason I got to that weight and so unhealthy was because I ate too much when I did eat. My plates were mounting. So um, the gastric bypass to enable me to have smaller portions winner winner I, I it's working i thought having this break over christmas um there was a little bit of me in my mind that made me wonder you know i know i've read that people that have bariatric surgery their honeymoon period can last for a period of anything from nine months to a year to 18 months you can carry on losing weight um depending on what you do and how you're treating that tool that we've been um given and I did wonder over Christmas because I overindulged, like I said I would, no surprises. My weight went up and down only by a couple of pounds here and there. Um, nothing major, nothing shocking, but I did wonder in my mind, is this me? Am I about to plateau now? I'm 10 months out of surgery. Um, if I was gonna be, you know, steadying at this weight, I would be happy, obviously happier to know it's still going down, so yes. I've lost a couple of pounds since my last weigh-in. My last weigh-in, in fact, was, I think I put it down as the 15th of December. Um, hang on, I'll get back on here again now. So yeah, my last weigh-in that I posted on Instagram, anyway, we do this, um, my weight chart on there. For those of you who aren't on there, I'll just find it up. Yeah, so I was 12 stone, 12.8 on the 15th of December. 14th of December so two three two three weeks away and I now weigh in at 12.09 so that leaves that's a grand total loss overall in stones of six stone two um, or 39.4 kg or 86.9 pounds amazing i'm so super happy and what it tells me this morning getting on the scales is that yes they're still moving and um i can kick start this weight loss again by introducing some good choices you know i'm back on the salads and trying to pro you know eat your protein and your vegetables or your salads first and then obviously trying to keep get some fluids down i'm finding that quite difficult actually getting two two to three liters of fluids down when i'm not at the gym i'm still not back at the gym um my period has stopped play for the last couple of days and i'm not sure i'm actually going to get there tomorrow i've got a funeral to go to tomorrow so it may be another walk in the morning rather than sweaty gym and then Anyway, anyway, I'm not worried about that. You know, I, I'd like to get back to the gym, but everything will be, it is what it is at the end of the day. And just really, really happy that, yeah, I've lost a couple of pounds and it's heading on its way down again. And, you know, I think my husband said, wow, Jan, you'll be, you know, I'm 80.6 kgs at the moment. I started at 120 kgs. So, wow, I can't believe I'm going to get underneath 80. For anybody that's watched me for a while, you'll know that, for me to get underneath the 100 kg mark was a milestone in itself and 
whilst I know I've lost that weight and I feel fabulous, there are some times that your head still makes you think that you're 120 kgs or 18 stone 12, you know. Um, there are some days you look at yourself and you think, wow, who's that person? You know, I don't recognize her. And there's other days that your brain still tells you you're that fat, unhappy person. And that that's a real struggle because, you know, the weight loss doesn't fix what goes on up here. I've said this a few times before, and um, I think that's true of many of us on this bariatric journey, that you, it doesn't fix anything up here. That has to be done by us and you. And I think one of my biggest advice to anybody going through this or thinking about it is, don't compare yourself to other people you know try and remember that this is such a unique journey as much as everybody within the community has the same aim and the same goal um, with different exercises and they do different or they eat things differently some people are on keto some people don't eat carbs i do it all but i do it in a lesser and more moderated um, way than i did before I drank alcohol nearly every night over Christmas. Okay, probably nowhere near as much as I would have done prior to having bariatric surgery, but I drank nearly every night with my husband. And, you know, that's what had to stop for me this week. So yeah, whilst the bariatric surgery has limited my um, amount of food and portion control, it hasn't stopped me from drinking out alcohol completely. On one hand, I'm really chuffed about that because I do love a glass of wine. I do love. I can't help it. I, I, you know, I love it. I like it. And my husband and I, that's our little switch off point is a nice glass of wine. And, um, but I'm happy to report also that I don't have to do that. So, I, you know, we'll now we're back into January and, um, a new start, new fresh start, and ready to detox the body. So we're just gonna have a drink again on a Friday and a Saturday, you know, Christmas festivities over, we need to push that aside. And I think just the fact that my scales did move in the right direction this morning kind of made me, that motivates me a little bit more to say, no, 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 doesn't matter what stresses or strains, go alongside that, you know. I'm killing a bit of time today, it's 20 to two. I go and see my doctor at quarter past two to talk about the blood sugars, so I will, pop on again later or tomorrow to fill you all in on what she advises there hopefully she won't be saying go back to the hospital and talk to them about it because i really don't want to i just don't i have had no no communication with them for months now and i i just don't think that that i want to go down that route i'd rather go through my gp and see what she says we are fortunate we have private medical um private medical so I will if I need to see an endocrinologist I shall be asking her just to refer me um, to a consultant that I can um, go through my private scheme anyway so um, and hopefully that'll encourage her to do that a bit more I'm not asking the NHS to pick up that bill we'll we'll pay for that so yeah that's that's about me today I'm really chuffed to get back into my walking guys I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to have a bit of fresh air in my lungs. My hip actually hurt this morning a little bit, I pulled it. I'm just gonna show you my little outfit today because I think it's kind of cute. I hope so anyway. And it is a record for my own self, as you know. I've got a little skirt on today and some sparkly shoes, which I love. Um, yeah, and this is me in a little, see? I've still got loads to go. I mean, it's a bit like being on telly, isn't it? it makes you look bigger than you actually are, I think. Um, but I'm, more than happy with my progress and I you know I stand up and show these what I'm wearing more and more one because I don't mind what I look like and number two I'm happy to then go back and be able to see what I looked like beforehand and do some comparison shots so but yeah getting back to my walk was really lovely two days on a trot now and I covered 6.2 miles I think today in two hours 14 minutes so really enjoying that and it just feels good to get moving get some fresh air in my lungs and blow the cobwebs away from christmas so yeah i hope that you're all really really well and welcome again to any newbies that have just joined my channel um thanks for your email john smithers um i have replied to you this morning um i hope it's helpful um the questions that you've asked and don't hesitate to contact me again if you need to know anything else um, there are other people, John, as well, that there's another um, guy that I know through this community, Tim to Thin, and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind me passing his info on to you because he's also 
on the NHS, but he's losing weight of his own accord at the moment. So um, anyway, Tim, if you don't mind, can I pass your details on to um, somebody else who's um, just joining the community, I guess, but is on the wait list on the NHS. So yes, people, Mwah! I hope you're all really well, healthy and happy as I am. And I will report back again at some point. Take care. Bye bye.